Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got an intriguing report that I wanna share with you guys, and that is this. There are five states here in America in which people are mass exiting, and the majority of those are obviously your Democratic blue states. Is that a sign? I don't know, but all I have to say is probably a lot has to do with some of the lame laws that some of these five states incorporate. Now, let me show you or take you straight to the report. This was put out on zerohedge.com and it's titled, Americans are ditching these five states in record numbers. This, this was put out on January 7th of 2018, uh, but he goes on to report that apparently surging violent crime, massive tax hikes, and insolvent public pensions are bad for attracting residents who knew on the other hand 364 days of sunshine a year minimal crime brand new infrastructure and some of the lowest tax rates in the country seem to be to our complete shock somewhat appealing to folks who want to relocate it goes on but that is just a couple of the many interesting takeaways to be gleaned from the latest u.s migration report uh, from north america moving services which found that illinois is the most ditched state in 2017 now you can see the top outbound meaning people are leaving them in mass exodus Illinois, Connecticut, New Jersey, California, and Michigan. Very libified liberal states. Many liberals live there, and many of those are blue states. But I find it interesting because I did a few reports there about California and some of the crazy wacko laws in which they have. They have, in my opinion, some of the worst gun laws, uh, some of the worst laws for homeschooling, and multiple other reasons. And Therefore, it is no wonder many people want to leave these states in mass exodus. What are the five states in which people are turning to? Well, a lot of the red states, of course. More of your conservative, more of your patriotic, more of your Republican states. Those include my home state of Arizona. That was at the top, a 67% per, inbound rate. Idaho, 63. North Carolina, 62. South Carolina, 62 and Tennessee there on the Bible Belt, 58%. Obviously, our pe people are sick and tired of all the libified crap that they keep pushing. And I read a report, uh, if I can find it, I'll toss it up on the screen, showing that Democrats, there is new documentation that has come out in which, and I believe it's on InfoWars, but documents have surfaced that are showing that Democrats need the immigration vote in order to survive. Yeah, because not enough Americans are voting for them because there no longer is a Democrat party. They are a progressive, communist, socialist party, and they want a rich class and a very poor class. That is always the end result of a communist socialist regime and that is exactly what the Democratic Party has tur turned into and the Republican Party has become the old Democratic Party if you really want to label it that way but there is no parties anymore uh, and so this is where we're lying but people are waking up to the atrocities and they're starting to jump ship uh, this is why I like my good old-fashioned state of Arizona and I plan on staying here for a while uh, but with that let me share some of the crazy laws in California uh, uh, probably, again, one of the reasons that a lot of people are exiting. Some of those include, and I'll throw this report uh, up from earlier that's on Breitbart.com, who actually lists 10 different things. Uh, but some of those include controlling cow flat flatulence. Yeah, like cow farts. Uh, forget about farting if you're a cow in California, poor little cow. Uh, but in spite of the fact that 53 California dairy farmers went bankrupt and moved out of state or just closed down this year, the Marxist progressives are back at it again, capturing cow farts who can, can suffer Cap capture your cow farts or you're going to be heavily fined. This is from the CA Air Resource Board suggesting inserting a tube into the cow's digestive system and venting it into a backpack. Even liberals admit that laws like that are really insane. Uh, here's another one, legalizing child prostitution. Law bars law enforcement from arresting sex workers who are under the age of 18 for soliciting or engaging in prostitution or loitering with intent to do so. 
Yikes. And finally, here's another really silly one. Uh, early release for so-called non-violent criminals. Uh, Jer Jerry Grounds, baby, but the crown jewel of his prison, prison reform initiatives. Among these offenses, he considers non-violent rape of an unconscious person, human trafficking involving sex acts with minors, and assault with a deadly weapon. Those he is considering as non-violent, and so as a result, uh, early release for such people. <laughs> Thank you, Governor Jerry Brown. Uh, but there you have it. Anyhow, I'd love to get your opinions on and your feelings and your thoughts on all of that. Uh, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. There's so much censorship going on. We need to keep that uh, open and available. So subscribe to the channel, sign up for YouTube, make sure you click on the little bell so you're getting a newsletter and subscribe to my backup channel, Lisa Haven Vlogs. And don't forget to check out my partner, virtualshield.com forward slash Lisa Haven. Uh, look, if you want to make it where people don't know what your Googling because it's only your, it's your right to know and your right to privacy. Make sure you are on a VPN. Uh, I use for my VPN, which is basically an IP scrambler. It's going to scramble your address. Nobody has a right. And the reason I use virtual shield is because they throw away all the evidence and they don't keep a file. So if the government knocks on their door, well, they're not going to get anything, but check out virtualshield.com forward slash Lisa Haven. There's 20% off there for you guys. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.